What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is that time of the month again for Horror Icon Mashup. I'm your host, Anthony. And I am Rob. That is Rob. It has been a cool minute since uh, Rob and I have done this, actually. Uh, yeah. What did yeah, you say? It was like, what, last yeah, year? Yeah, it was uh, Latin in 2020. It was the last time we did this, so. 2020, man. So, before we get started, obviously I gotta pull up the uh, poll results. Let's do that. I wanna see who, uh, I'm interested in who won. The fans voted. I put a, I put a poll up on Twitter. I put a poll up on Instagram and the fans voted. Uh, I put on Twitter, I'm just curious, who would win in a fight? Ghostface or Jigsaw? 67% of people voted Ghostface while 33% of people voted Jigsaw. Interesting. Interesting. That's uh. But then it takes a turn on Instagram. Ooh. I put the same question. I'm curious who would win in a fight. Uh, and 55% of people voted Jigsaw, while 45% of people voted Ghostface. So it was about almost a 50/50 in a way. Yeah, that's that's um, that's actually that's really close. Uh, I, I think I'm gonna give it more of a 60/40, and I'm gonna give that win to Jigsaw. Okay. By fans. That, that's just. By the fans' yeah, request, just, you know. That's uh, interesting. Uh, two separate, uh, just two separate platforms. How, how, uh, just people, people think. I thought it would. I thought after you, when you said the first one, I thought it would lean still more towards uh, Ghostface, but Ghostface, yeah, huh? Very interesting. So sixty forty. That was a close fight. I mean, obviously, we know the two are very skilled at what they do. Um, Ghostface being having multiple killers and Jigsaw being the one, and then hiring on uh, his apprentices. So. Um, yeah, we're back with another episode of Horror Icon Mashup, yeah. and this one's going to be a interesting one, to say the least. Uh, today we're looking at Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Saga versus Art the Clown from Terrifier, and many other little films he's made an appearance here and there, but, but Terrifier is going to be the one we're focusing on today, um, because that's his standalone film. I got... Art the Clown, so I did my research, I watched Terrifier. Rob is very knowledgeable about Leatherface, so I gave him Leatherface, uh, and it's time to see who would win in a fight, a fantasy matchup between these two horror icons. Uh, without further ado, Rob, go ahead and lay out your argument with Leatherface. Alright, well here we go. Um, let me just say this. Uh, Art the Clown, very scary individual. Um, you know, I, I uh, as I told you before, I haven't seen too much of him. I caught, you know, little glimpses, glimpses here and there, uh, read up on him, and he's a very formidable, formidable opponent for uh, for Leatherface. But this is why, I, in my opinion, I think Leatherface just kind of lay some groundwork here. Um, the man is mentally unstable, first of all. So those are people you definitely don't want to mess with. Uh, especially when you run around with a chainsaw. So I don't know about you, but if I saw a very large individual running around with a chainsaw, I'm going to go the other way. Um, another thing is um, the, uh, it sounds funny maybe, but uh, the Sawyers are very, uh, a, a tightly knit family group. So you may be messing with chain, uh, I mean uh, Leatherface, but you will also be messing and have to deal with his family um those right. are just a couple of things that i just kind of want to lay out there uh before i go too deep into why i feel leatherface would uh take this victory um anthony what do you what do you what's your rebuttal for that well you know leatherface is uh is pretty brutal but you also got to remember one thing leatherface is just a man that he is. That he uh, is. Now, let's talk a little bit about Art the Clown. Art the Clown made his debut on a short horror film called The Ninth Circle, where he was with a bunch of other uh, people in this kind of cult-like situation. Have not seen it, but I read a little bit of the synopsis of it. And then he made an appearance in All Hallows Evil as another short little character. Uh, that was a full-length feature film, which I think was probably... Um, based around the ninth circle just more of a, a feature film um, and then he finally got his own solo film because of the popularity of the character in Terrifier which came out in 2016 and I hear Terrifier 2 is in the works right now um, so let's let's talk a little bit about Art the Clown first off I think people 
majority of the world are just afraid of clowns in general. <laughs> they are very uh, scary things. Obviously, we've seen them in horror films. There was even at one point, I think in 2016, where there was a big clown craze, uh, where there was clown spottings everywhere. Uh, I so rem I remember that. Was, that. I definitely remember that. That was, uh, that was scary. Um, so let's talk a little bit about Art, man. He's, he's brutal for one. Uh, he is just one of those killers that uh, can keep his poker face uh, and can get the job done, no hesitation. Uh, another thing you got to take in mind with Art, he's immortal. Um, at the end of Terrifier, he gets shot in the, or he shoots himself in the mouth, back of the head, should be dead, right? Well, at the very end of the film, when they bring his body into the morgue, you find out Art the Clown is still alive. So he's immortal. Uh, he's a trickster. He likes to have fun like every clown, but he does it in a very creepy and sinister way uh, as far as getting the kills done and, and just seeing a lot of the kills that happen in this film. Absolutely terrifying. Some are really brutal. Uh, he really doesn't have a weakness because he is Im immortal. I mean, people, you know, they, they shoot him, they'll, they'll down him for a little bit, but... He gets back up and, and eventually just gets the job done. Uh, in this film, we see a lot of, I think we see about 10 people die in this film, in the first Terrifier, and every one of them is brutal. From cutting off heads to lighting them on fire to freaking uh, splitting someone in half. Uh, like with a legit saw from like like a like a legit saw, he's, he just saws him down in half. Uh, he shoots this one girl in the face like fifty thousand times. It's brutal. Um, it, his kills are just freaking wow. Like I was watching this film, like I cannot believe this is happening. Uh, and he doesn't show mercy, so he, uh, when he's targeted someone, he's going to go until they are dead. And that's what kind of annoyed me with this film, because there was a lot of locked doors in this film where the characters could not get out. And it was a little bit of annoying, it was a little repetitive situation, but I did have fun watching this film because of Art the Clown. But, yeah, man, he, he's pretty, that's, it's pretty yeah, up that's there. That's pretty sadistic. Um, definitely, like I said, definitely a formidable, formidable opponent for Leatherface, but... Uh, one thing I'd like to add, and and just you mentioning, you know how um, Art the Clown is immortal, and you know people have shot him and burned him, and and you know many other things to try and kill Art the Clown. But let me just say this, or and, and ask this kind of: um, Has Art the Clown ever been eaten? Because the Sawyers are cannibals, and I feel like. Like you just said, they would down Art the Clown, and I don't know if it's ever been factored in of Art uh, being eaten. Uh, and worse, I mean, he would because he doesn't die. He probably would be eaten alive. Um, and uh, I don't know. I just feel like I feel like that might be kind of an X factor because you know we do know that the Sawyers are cannibals and i'm sure clown is something they don't get too often on their on their meal prep list so that's that's something i i, I would have to put that in the unknown and possibilities of maybe one way maybe it's the only way to defeat art the clown is you must eat him alive i don't know man i mean who knows? <laughs> you know, I, I, that is good. That's good to know. I would like to see that happen if someone would eat him alive. If, a cannibal, if he ever ran into a cannibal yeah. situation. Um, however, much like Leatherface, who's mostly subjected to one weapon, which is the yes, chainsaw, yes. Art will literally use anything he can get his hands on to kill somebody. Chainsaw, guns, knives, saws. I've seen it all with this guy. Uh, and I have a good feeling that if Art wanted to have a little fun, he can grab a chainsaw himself and have a little Ooh. chainsaw duel, much like how you see in the Gears of War video games. Ooh, yeah. But, uh, you know, uh, I mean, if he wanted to make it quick and just get this guy over with, he could just shoot him in the face. Simple as that. Because this guy has no fear. Um, here, here's the thing uh, with Leatherface. Um, he, I feel like his weak, one of his weaknesses, maybe his only weakness, is that he's not the brightest individual um so art might find some way to trick him because he is a trickster like you're saying um he might find some way to you know just get him in in a position 
to where he, Art the Clown has the upper hand. But I go back to the the family dynamic of the Sawyers and them working as a team together because one thing that they do do in the, these movies is they definitely use each other to kind of bait uh, their victims into a trap of some kind or just you know for them to be caught off guard so I do think that maybe Art has maybe maybe he might have the upper hand on Leatherface himself and actually I was looking up some stuff I, I didn't ever really pay attention um, to to Leatherface's name I just always called him Leatherface but uh, I was looking it up and he has a few a few names it's Bubba is one of them so you know we could refer to him as Bubba uh, Thomas Brown Hewitt and that was uh, the Thomas Brown Hewitt was uh, for the 2003 yes, remake yes, right? it was yes it was um, and uh, Jedediah so so he you know I, I like Bubba Bubba's probably my favorite of uh, Bubba's yeah, old it school. Is, and that's why I like it um, so he might trick Bubba but the thing is, like I said, one of the other Sawyers are pretty smart, and they've been doing this for years. So they would find some way to trick the trickster and help uh, Bubba trap uh, Art and chop him up, and he's already got the chainsaw. He would take uh, Art's chainsaw, cut him up, and have a nice little snack. It's like a they could be they'd be at a like a carnival or something because it's clown. Much like Leatherface, though, I have seen Art skin someone alive Ooh. and wear their skin. Ooh, that's... that. Um, took off the girl's breastplates and wore the, the chest part, wore the hair, wow. walked around like he was like uh, Buffalo Bill from freaking Silence of the Lambs. That's, uh, that is... So I've seen him skin someone alive, and he will do it. Um... And uh, he, he's just brutal with his kills, man. Now, I'm going to set the stage here right, for you go right ahead. here. Do it. Do so, it. Do it. we have, we're, we'll, we'll do this in Texas okay. because that's where Leatherface resides I like from. That. And I, I feel like Arthur Clown would honestly be going anywhere just to get yes. a kill. Um, we'll set this in Texas. So, we, got the, we have the Sawyer house, obviously, right there. And let's say up the road, we have an abandoned, uh, an abandoned warehouse where basically the first Terrifier film does take place in an abandoned warehouse that's getting uh, fumigated. Uh, so, let's say Art the Clown chased some victims into this uh, abandoned right. warehouse. Let's say there's about four of them. And he's having his way with them. He kills them all. And right when he kills the last one, uh, let's say he walks out down the street and passes by a house. Notices that the lights are on. Notices that he hears something coming from it. Much like a chainsaw <laughs> noise. That kind of intrigues him, so he walks towards right. the house and sees the family, uh, the, the, the rest of the Sawyer family inside. Uh, they're around the dinner table, looking like they're eating, and Leatherface walks out and sits down in his tuxedo suit, because I like him in, best in the tuxedo okay. with the makeup on. That's an iconic Leatherface look. Uh, and he sits down. Art smiles from out the window, so tries to go inside the house. When he gets in, they all look at him like he's crazy, and he does his iconic smile, just to be awkward. Yeah. Uh, and Leatherface immediately starts with the chainsaw. Art the Clown immediately just... He's got a trash bag full of stuff, so he probably just <laughs> picks up the most <laughs> randomest thing he can find. Uh, he dodges Leatherface and starts maybe picking off the Sawyer family one by one, because he is smart okay. like that. He, he does a little smart when it comes to killing. Um, maybe lead... Le uh, leads them out different ways to try to chase him down and kills them off one by one until it just comes down to him and Leatherface. Oh, okay. I see I see what you did there. You got rid of you got rid of the Sawyers and it's just it's just Leatherface. It's Bubba and Art cuz Art is just that damn smart. Wow. He will lure people okay. out to try to do a one a one on one with the most I guess I would say the most powerful out of all of them as far I, as strength wise goes. I see what goes. you did there. You took the X factor and you got rid of it. Okay. Um, Much like how he does in the film. Okay. Uh, so here's... So this is... Um, I, again, not seen Terrifier. Uh, so I'm going to ask a question. Does Art the Clown have a... Uh, I know he's... I'm going to say he's, you know, supernatural. He's un... You know, you can't kill him. Does he have, like, infinity endurance? And he just... He doesn't get tired because... 
killing all the Sawyers, that's gotta, I mean, that's gotta drain you a little bit, right? Or, or is this guy just... This is a guy who killed two people in a pizza shop, went to the abandoned building, killed two uh, of the victims he was looking at okay. first, then killed uh, a, a, one of the fumigating guys and killed the girl's sister... And then when he shot himself, and he was out for a little bit, but then I think he may maybe just faked it so he can get okay. out of there and just move okay. on. When he got to the morgue, woke up and killed the 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 morgue doctor. Uh, but before you know, before he got to the morgue, just killing all those people alone. I mean, he was taking his time, having a fun time, okay. being sadistic with them, and didn't look tired one right. day, okay. even when he was getting shot up and beat up and okay. everything. Okay, so. It's it. Yeah, I feel like Leatherface, Bubba, my buddy Bubba, is gonna have his hands full with Art the Clown. But again, I'm just gonna I'm gonna bring up the fact that you you are admitting that Art the Clown can get beat up and and can get hurt. So I'm going to take that and say, well, well, Bubba is getting his licks in and you know get giving it to art the clown um you know maybe he just he chops off his head and uh eats his brain uh style before he can wake up if you will so that that's kind of i feel like there's i have a small window to work with because art the clown is supernatural and bubba leatherface um is you know mortal he can be killed um, I feel like that's kind of my little door, my sliver, my sliver there to where I feel like uh, Bubba can beat Art the Clown is is really he needs to down him for a while and take off some important, you know, the, his head and eat his brain, and Bubba uh, possibly could uh, leave leave victorious. That's that's you left me with a small window. And that's the window I'm choosing to, to jump through is, is uh, Bubba chops off Art the Clown's head and eats his brain before, um, before you know, he can wake up or, or revive himself. Whatever it is that Art does to not die, that's how he would die. That's one possible ending scenario. Another ending scenario is uh, Art the Clown chops off his one arm that he uses to hold okay, his chainsaw. Okay. Maybe chops off both arms so he has no chainsaw, okay. and slowly starts to kill him like he did the other ones. That's that's also a very realistic possibility. And as you were saying this, this is just something uh, that popped in my head. Um, I'm gonna still go with that. Bubba Leatherface chops off Art's head, eats his brain. But because you are saying Art is immortal, somehow you combine Leatherface and Art the Clown together. Like it's got it's got Art Art the Clown's brain in there because he ate his brain and they become um, Art the Leatherface or something that just kind of popped in my head. <laughs> Leatherface, yeah, the clown. Leatherface the Clown. There you go. New uh, copyright that thing, man. Before someone, st yeah, before someone it. steals it from us. There you go. That's right. the next horror movie right there. But those are our facts, those are our scenarios that we laid out for you, two endings that you can choose from, but we want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think, who do you guys think would win in a fight between Art the Clown from Terrifier and Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? I will be putting up the poll. I hope you guys uh, voted, and uh, leave the comments below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. I think these are, this is, these are two individuals that are very sadistic, very gory when it comes to their kills, yes. and they get very creative with their kills. So. Also, um, I mean, maybe, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm putting you on the spot a little bit, but I was just, I'm just curious because there are so many uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacres. Um, you know, people want to, you, know, you know, say which one's their favorite. Also, Anthony, do you have a favorite Texas Chainsaw Massacre? I'm always uh, a fan the of original, the original. Yes. But I did very much like the route they went with in the 2003 okay. remakes. Okay. Okay. That's um, that's the I'm trying to remember. Uh, that was the one with Jessica Bill, right? Was that Jessica Bill? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I did. I did like that one. Um, it might be a little. I might get a little hate for this, but I think the one they did in was it? I think 2013. Um, uh, Texas Chainsaw. Yeah, I think it was like 3D or something like that. But I, yeah. I didn't care about that. But I actually kind of. I like that one. I know I, at the time I feel like it got a lot of hate, but 
Um, again, the original is probably the one I'm going to pick out of all of them, but I did enjoy uh, the one in 2013, Texas Chainsaw. Well, with a Terrifier sequel coming in the works and a new Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie supposedly slated for this year, which I think is going to be a direct sequel from the original okay. one, uh, like how they're doing with right. Halloween, uh, I'm excited to see where they come back with the both characters and how they get brutal, man. But leave your comments down below. Who do you think would win? Uh, and also... Stay tuned because next month we're doing another great iconic mashup, and this is gonna be this is gonna be a hard mashup, and and these are characters that some might hate, some might like. We're gonna do the Babadook versus Slenderman. Ooh, should be yeah. a good one. Who do you got, Rob? Ooh, Who do you got, man? Right um, I'm gonna go Babadook. Babadook. Yeah. Babadook. I'll take uh, Slenderman. <laughs> I, I I used to play all the games. I studied that guy like crazy. <laughs> so until then, we'll see you guys next month. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Social distance. Love all of you. See you guys so. later.